coming up on Talk Pittsburgh. The local band Chip and the Charge Ups join us in the studio for a performance of one of their new songs and to talk about their family connection. A local woman is turning her love of all things retro and photography into a business. How she's transforming events by going back in time. A father-daughter duo is making food for a good cause. They join us in the kitchen to demonstrate some of their French toast creations. <laughs> good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for Talk Pittsburgh. Did you have a good uh, weekend? I did, and we, we don't really get to catch up much because we're I like know. work, 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 work. So now we get to like catch up on life a little bit. I know. And we were just talking about shopping for home. You guys yes. found your perfect home. Yeah, you know, there's things I don't like about Oh, so it. not so perfect. No, it's great. It's we're perfect for us right now. We're, we love it. Scratch that. Not yeah. perfect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Vivi's dance recital was Sunday. It was yesterday. So it was a, a fun weekend. On. A lot going on. Um, there was a, recently a house just posted and listed in East Liberty, and all of our jaws collectively dropped when we saw this. Oh, um, it is listed for just under $1.2 million, so looking for the right buyer. Yeah. Um, but we wanted to show you some of the inside because if you're Nebby like we are, <laughs> we love a good renovation. Um, and this house was renovated top to bottom, five beds, three and a half baths. Uh, and as the real estate agent told us, they wanted to renovate it back to its original glory. But mm -hmm. look at this thing. I love it. And I was thinking too, when you know we started looking at this house, I'm like, maybe this kind of reminds me of a little bit of a bachelor pad, you know, but it is gorgeous. Looks like something like that I would see in the suburbs, but then five bedrooms. I know. That is a lot. But not when you have three kids. Not when you have three kids. Well, yep. When you have three kids, that's, ex that's just an extra <laughs> yeah. bedroom. I'll like, never know. Who's, who's, <laughs> I'll never know. You said. I'm telling you, it's a, it's a lot of people in yeah. one house. And then we have two dogs in there, too. Yeah. I feel like we're all just crammed in there. And I'm constantly just trying to weed through stuff to get rid of it because we just have too much stuff yeah. and too many people and too many dogs. You need a yard. I mean, you're in Mount Washington, but like that, that yard, you have all of that space. I mean, I that's a big thing, too. I mean, we're kind of on a hill, which is why it's not so perfect. Perfect. So, you know, we have our play set in the back, but then it goes on a little bit of a hill and then our grass dies in some places. And it's just, I'd, I want big open space and kind of close to neighbors, but not really. East Liberty, everyone's just kind of close to each other. I love that though. Yeah. Yeah. I, living in the city for as long as we have, I, that is one of my like favorite things is that we have close neighbors. It is nice. Like close, like I, I ours are really close too, but I maybe want like, maybe like four or five houses in between. Yeah. Yeah, then, just a hey, little. can I get some bread? Can I get some eggs? I'm telling you, we can do that. A friend of mine <laughs> who I went to college with, Marcy Lane. Hey, Marcy. She um, she said that sometimes she, when she's walking her dog past her house, she's like, oh, I can hear you guys. You're loud. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure <laughs> the city. my neighbors can hear just me too. the city. Um, <laughs> well, if you are still looking, maybe you're still looking for your perfect home. Uh, how about a house in Kentucky? There's a, a real estate agent there who has a very fun way of getting attention to homes on the market. Take a look. I just want to dance. <laughs> Get it. Tell me you wouldn't give this home a second look. Three and a half, ba three bed, two baths. She has all the details posted for you there. I want her to come with the house and show me the house and dance with me. She is so much fun. I reached out to her. That's Natalie uh, McCaslin. She has, this has a million views oh on TikTok, but I, I have to imagine that she sells this home. Like, oh, how sure. do you not sell this home? It's not just this house either. She does it for a lot of homes. I know. It's fantastic. I would, um, that would just be a big sell. I mean, that'd be a big selling point for me. I'm like, hey, I like my realtor. I trust her. She got some moves. She <laughs> loves the house. I mean, she clearly loves that house yes. enough to dance to it. I love that too, because when you love your job, you know, I always do TikTok dances. We do TikTok dances, but it makes everything so much fun. Here's the thing. For people who don't do social media like that, imagine the neighbors Oh, as this woman yeah. is out in the front yard dancing. We're like, oh my gosh, what is that? happening? They don't tell us that's our new neighbor now. <laughs> <laughs> but we love it, Natalie. Thank it's you so fantastic. much for letting us share and keep dancing, we say. Um, this weekend, we went to my aunt's house. Yes. And speaking of selling, she was a master seller, I found out. I don't know what sparked this, but she got so excited about her Pampered Chef. Yeah. She used to sell t Tupperware and Pampered Chef. She still has so many of the products. So take a look at her pitch. <laughs> And wait, Frank, wait to see this. Narrow, like if you have tiny little cookies that you want to... Mm -hmm. Tiny cookies. <laughs> these are my Pampered Chef tongs. I use these for everything. Up is closed. 
If you'll notice, the closed. Like the Turn them down, no, we, release, warm. they open. No, she you can't close them when they're down. You can't close them when they're down. You can't close them when they're down. Frankie came over, he tested them out. We, she went through all of oh her gosh. products that she had there. I don't know why, but she started pulling everything out of the drawers. And she did this pitch for my children. Like Frankie walked away. <laughs> Wait, Lila. Their why? kids are just sitting there like, why are you showing us? <laughs> You'll all understand of this stuff? one day, kids. <laughs> But she went into this big spiel about how this is the garlic roller. I had never That's seen anything good. like this. You roll it, the skin comes off the garlic. Just like that. And then the garlic Please shredder. Yeah. I remember, yep. That, it's so convenient. It's so good. You're obsessed with Pampered Chef. I do, and but then I want those cool gadgets, and my husband's like, you don't need this. You don't need it, but their food. Their food is amazing. I've never had their Oh, food. their guacamole seasoning, their beer bread, um, their brownies, like everything is so good. So speaking of, I need to put that on my to-do list to go online and buy some and look, things because it's so, so good. So I started to ask her, I'm like, so tell me more about your time. Why, why did you stop selling? She told me she was the top seller in 96 for Pampered Chef. <laughs> I love that. And she sold Tupperware too. And she still has, oh. like I said, all of those products. I asked her what she thinks is the best seller yeah. for a Pampered Chef. She thinks it's the Mix and Chop. Do you have one of those? No. That's like the... That's what I need though. I just asked my husband. I'm like, can we get one of those? The little chopper thing. Yes. No, I don't have it. But also you can do one of those to wash your fruit. Like, you know, you oh, put yeah. your fruit in it and I want one of you those too. And he's like, up. just throw it underwater. It's fine. I don't know. I don't know why she got out of it. She is clearly very Good. I'm pretty sure that my five-year-old was ready to that buy whatever tong, she was selling. Those tongs are very, um, like, I'm interested in how that works. Down and yeah, up. but why? But how? I don't know. We're That's gonna have to invention. talk about that because also something random. We were looking at scissors. We were cutting something, me and my husband, and they don't work when it's you know righty and lefty. But same motion, so why don't they work? We're gonna have to look into that. I had no idea. I know it's weird. Uh, I don't know if you heard about this story yet, but this is incredible. This man recently was helping to clean out his father-in-law's house. He found a couple pennies. They started digging. They end up finding bags and bags of pennies. Look at this. Oh they were. He said that some of them, in a couple of interviews he did, he said that some of them were sealed, like lead sealed, and he saw some names on the bags that were familiar, like uh, Bank of America, but other oh banks that he had never heard of before. So he goes on to tell the story that he called a bank locally and said, hey, we have all these pennies, we found them, shows the pictures, right? Um, the bank manager says, we cannot take your pennies. There's a million pennies. She says, we can't take your pennies. You likely have, and he said that she said this loosely, a million dollar penny in there. Because oh some gosh. of them are so old that they're not a face value of a penny like you would think. They're worth more than that. So like a million pennies is probably about $10,000. Well, that's but it's what, probably gonna be more money if you find the, yeah. how are you gonna find those? So face value, it's $10,000. Yeah. But some of them are going to be worth more. Oh my, but how do you find it? That is so hard. You're gonna have to go through a million pennies. Well, and you that have would to take know what forever. you're looking for. Yeah. Like it has to be and a Then they're gonna have to hire point. somebody to do that and look through them. So then that's money too. But hey, go through it and it's still like quite a find. It's quite a find. Wow. So we'll see. I thought my mom was a big coin collector, but like, you know, the change, but that is impressive. I know. We have a swear jar. Oh. <laughs> Halfway full. That's our beach money. Oh man. That's we a good idea. It. <laughs> um, we told you about this on Friday, but we wanted to share this again. A local woman, her name is Stephanie Libin, really wants people to bring something special, something from Pittsburgh with them to the Taylor Swift concert. So take a listen to what Stephanie wants. Hi, Pittsburgh Swifties. I'm Stephanie and this is Leah. And we are so excited that Taylor Swift is coming to Pittsburgh this weekend. We thought it would be a really fun idea for everyone that's going to her shows to bring along the terrible towel with you. That way, when she pops up out of the stage during her opening number, everyone can go crazy with them, showing her a fun, unique welcome to the city of champions. She is playing in the home of our Steelers after all. Leah, show them how it's done. Yeah, girl. I'll be going to the show this Friday with my terrible towel and I'm so excited to see you all there. Hopefully with your terrible towels too. Oh, and our thanks to Stephanie for sending in I that video. That. Isn't Leah so cute? So cute. She's so ready for Taylor too. That adorable little laughter in between. I can't even, she's like the happiest little girl I've ever seen. It's really um, exciting. So some people are also creating their own terrible towels. We had someone email. I think I'm gonna do it. Pittsburgh I'm not going to the concert, but I think I'm gonna bejazzle it up. 
there are so many places that are offering specials and brunches and drinks and yes. all of that stuff. If you can't go to the concert or don't have tickets, there's plenty of ways to celebrate. Can um, I tell you I bought an outfit for Friday? I'm not going to the concert. <laughs> But I got something just like randomly, literally not too long ago. And I'm like, you know what? I'll wear this maybe on Air Friday because Taylor's in town. So you bought an out. Oh, okay. <laughs> or the Taylor Swift day. And I kind of want to go live out there on Friday for my weathers with a terrible towel, like bejazzled up and just, you know, full on weather report in sequin. I think we should do this. I definitely think, you know, um, Seal City is selling the Yinzer Air t-shirts, which you saw oh, yes. Stephanie wearing. I love it. Side note, Akershire <laughs> Stadium just tweeted a short time ago that if you didn't know this, fun little fact, that Taylor sang the national anthem and at halftime at Akershire Stadium back in September of 2006. Wow. It was her first time singing to a crowd of 50,000 plus. And that was like right before she released her debut album. And so, now look at her. And now look at her go. Mm. 70,000 plus now. It's amazing.